Welcome to the Game Week 19 team selection. With a double game week on the horizon for West Ham in Game Week 22, as well as their recent defensive form, bringing in one of their defenders is a priority this week, with a home fixture against Newcastle up next for the Hammers. Kyle Norton is likely to be the man to make way, despite his fixture against Crystal Palace. Roy Hodgson's side were impressive on the road last weekend when they put three goals past Leicester. The other thing to consider this week is whether to stick with the two expensive forwards or not in Harry Kane and Alvaro Morata, after they return just two points between them in Game Week 18. It is a perfectly justifiable move to sell Kane and bring him back in for the double game week, with the tough fixture against Burnley next and then a blank game week after the Southampton fixture. But Alvaro Morata is perhaps an even bigger concern after being dropped to the bench in Game Week 18. If Conte drops hints to suggest that may continue, selling him to Roberto Firmino could still be the way to go. But ideally, I'd like to keep hold of the Chelsea forward because the underlying stats when he does play are fairly strong. With all that in mind, let's take a look at how the team is shaping up for Game Week 19. It's a home fixture against Spurs for Nick Pope this week, but after three consecutive clean sheets, Burnley could frustrate Pochettino's side. Nicolas Otamendi faces a Bournemouth side that have scored just three goals in their previous four games. Only Burnley, Brighton and West Brom have managed fewer. Chelsea meanwhile travelled to Big Sam's Everton side after their 3-1 win over Swansea on Monday night. But Andreas Christensen has kept back-to-back -back clean sheets now and no team have conceded fewer big chances than Chelsea over the last four game weeks. With Dominic Calvert-Lewin facing Antonio Conte's side, Ruben Loftus-Cheek will replace the Everton forward in the starting lineup as Crystal Palace travel to Swansea. Swansea have conceded nine times over the last four game weeks. Only Stoke have conceded more goals over that period. The Man City team sheet for their League Cup fixture against Leicester should provide some clues as to who will start at home to Bournemouth at the weekend. And hopefully the inform Raheem Sterling will get his rest midweek rather than in the Premier League. He's been directly involved in four goals during the last two game weeks. Watford have had a man sent off in each of their last two games, which hasn't helped the form of Richarlison, who's now found just one return from his last five games. He's taken 12 shots from inside the box during that period, behind only Salah and Sterling amongst midfielders. But bizarrely, only one of those have hit the target. Liverpool travelled to Arsenal in Game Week 19 and have scored an average of 3.5 goals per game over their last four league meetings with the Gunners. So this could be another opportunity for Mo Salah to extend his lead as the Premier League's top goalscorer. Finally in midfield, Eden Hazard comes up against an Everton side that have conceded just two goals during the last four game weeks. Only Burnley have conceded fewer. So it could be a tricky game for the Belgian, but playing in a front two alongside Alvaro Morata would likely see him playing in a more direct way. So hopefully the Spaniard returns to the starting lineup. Morata has played just 17 minutes across the last two games, and Pedro and William have impressed in his absence. Antonio Conte's team selection for their League Cup game against Bournemouth should give us some clues as to whether or not Morata will start at the weekend. Despite failing to return points in three of the last four game weeks, Harry Kane has taken a tally of eight shots on target over that period, which no other Premier League player has beaten. But it will once again be a tough game for Spurs, as they travel to a Burnley side that have conceded just once in the last four game weeks, keeping three clean sheets. Harry Kane and Mo Salah are options for captaincy, despite their fixtures, given their consistently strong underlying stats that suggest goals can come in just about any game. However, if he gets his rest midweek, Raheem Sterling looks like the most tempting captain option for Game Week 19, ahead of Man City's home fixture against Bournemouth. Only Swansea, Brighton and Stoke have conceded more goals than Bournemouth over the last four game weeks, and Sterling has scored six goals in his previous four league appearances against the Cherries, which is more than he scored against any other Premier League team. Follow FPL Tips on Twitter to be notified of any updates to the team in advance of the game week deadline.